Keep going on. We're going to just find a like cute-ass girl. Go going there and find a hot-ass girl and start speaking a different language. Hey, baby. Ah! <laughs> 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 you just start screaming. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. I'm getting thanks to medication. Ah! My favorite thing about this plaza? What? Now we just speak English. Yeah, I yeah, know. <laughs> it's like you're sitting there shopping. You're like, I'm gonna get it. I used to work in this plaza for like two years, man. It's all Mexican. It's crazy. It's good. There, there were some hot ass Mexican chicks, though. I want Mexicans, to hear about them. Chinese, Portuguese. I think Robbie needs to share this story about Dairy Mart. Ooh. Dairy uh, Mart. What, what happened to Dairy Mart? Mart? There, buying some nachos and cheese, I think. Nachos and cheese. And this fine ass girl comes in, tits all hanging out, and I'm there looking straight because I don't want to be turning into this pool, but I do. I look at her tits. And Franklin's sitting right in front of me, looking dead at her tits. She can't see him, but she sees me. And he gets the perfect <laughs> shot. Oh my god! Tits all hanging out. I wanted to just milk. Them. <laughs> Like that. Look at my chocolate. The post spot. She's like, ooh, look at ah. this. Look this shit, man. Look at that. Look at this shit. I would shit on myself. That is crazy. This is insane for. Oh. He can't even look at it. It's so scary. Look at this. I thought it was a bad thing. I'm going to go to the side of this. I'm getting dizzy looking at it. On hell. hanging on for dear life. What do yeah, you think? Okay, oh no, but that looks crazy. Yeah. So what do you think? What is your opinion in that? I forgot to You guys are in a big ass dinosaur. Yes, we are. Frankie's going to come off there sick. Like they're about to fly off there, man. They got that thing spinning, don't they? I got it on videotape. Woo. I got it on videotape. <laughs> Why we come here, collect thoughts, get in touch with ourselves in a more deeper emotional state. A place where we can uh, let go of wrestling for a minute and just talk about life. Um, Really, as you see, it's a park within the school. And it has really no um, meaning to anybody else besides us who were in the, the CWO. Um, many people came here. This is where we started to come up with ideas. Fresh start on uh, characters as myself and Nick, Franklin. We'd come here late at night, do some late night brawling. We'd get prepared for a match or just a playing practice. And as you, I mean, as you see, playground equipment. Um, you know, we climb up over there, run, clothesline right here, clothesline right here, hit the ground, and the ground's, uh, as you see, it's pretty hard, so I mean, it's not like uh, the bed mattresses we use or the, or the Olympic mat. It's just, it's just a place to get away from wrestling, but also to stay in touch with it in a deeper side. 
know, it's fine. It's comfortable. It's neutral. It gives off some positive vibes about, you know, the good days we had when we wrestled in the CWO. And, I mean, you just have to look at a spot and tell what does it mean to you. The spot means to me it's, it's a part of my life now for being involved in CWO for so long. It's, it's somewhere I have to go now to get stuff off my chest, to talk about problems, talk about the future, talk about what we want in life. I mean, it just means a lot to me. And you just got to look at everybody else and say, what does it mean to you? Right now, we're taking you to the most antique spot in all of Hamilton. And it's a, it's a good meaning because this is where I first did my first interview up the ramp over in the corridor. Back then and there. Didn't know what to say, it was always uh, camera shy. Now I just, I want to get naked. Uh, but as you see, we come up here, strike a bow, uh, a little talk, a little stance, maybe a little bra up at this room. Hopefully we don't get in trouble. And then this is where the first interview took place of Joker. And I always pointed that way and said that I would take on Joey Kovacs in the hardcore hell match. Now I just say it with ease. Yeah, that's how we used to do it back in the day, <laughs> pretty much. You can get your ass out. Uh, what's up? This is uh, Nick. Uh, I don't know how many of you may know me as Nick, but formerly Clipso. Currently wrestling the Spinks, but none of that really matters. Just here talking about good old times we used to have back in the day, spending hours. Here we are at Pierce Elementary School. Just, I don't know, just hanging out. You know, we were grilling out, coming back here, just reminiscing, kind of getting a feel, you know, getting prepared to put this tape together for this video for you and the fans and the wrestlers. Uh, here you go, kid. <laughs> Can I have a Coke, please? Um, well, anyways, there was a time where me and Franklin, uh, we actually came out here and we'd practice for bumps and spots and matches. Wow, I'm getting really blunt. I'm going to cut right here, actually. There, that's a lot better. Because I was all squinty-eyed for a minute. And, uh, well, anyways, me and Franklin would come. We'd wrestle on this little play set, killing each other, doing stupid things that we shouldn't have. But just clown on like we used to. We'd walk up here because Franklin lives I don't know, about 15 minutes or so from here. Uh, I know this was a place we like to come up to, just kind of chill, collect our thoughts, you know, not just about wrestling, but on life. Uh, and even more recently, Franklin's been bringing me up here on his uh, go-kart uh, ventures. But there was times we'd come up here. This would be one of the many places that we come and just kind of train people and just talk to them and get them to get a feel for who we were as people, not just, you know, we're not going to be like these other guys in backyard that are sitting there talking about, oh, yeah, you know, we're the baddest people and we're doing all this stiff stuff because that's, that's not who we were. We were real people trying to actually have friends and not try to have all these fake-ass people talking about, you know, man, you know, I'll beat your ass if you go wrestle for this other group. And it, there was no... There, all the other feds pretty much around here didn't really have any camaraderie. And we wanted to let people know that if they wrestled with us, you know, they weren't just going to have people to wrestle with. They have people they could call, you know, if they were bored and were looking for something to do, you know, want to go to, you know, want to go out to McDonald's or something, go get something to eat, you know, or just go walk around and talk, you know. And th this was just one of the places we like to bring people.